folks, this is Pete here from Tyres Times and today we're going to feed 100 people in Bangkok. As you know, the restrictions in Bangkok have taken their toll on absolutely everybody. A lot of people are not working at the moment, a lot of people are in need. And today we're going to help, we're going to give, give back to this great city and this great country that has given me so much. So today we're going to feed 100 people, we're going to also give them some masks and we're down in the Khao San Rambutri area. We've just pulled up here on the side of the road and this queue was formed in seconds. People were running across the road to get into this queue and we're going to feed all these people in this queue behind me. So let me just explain the whole process of what we're actually doing here today. So our journey takes us to Sampeng Market, a market where you can find absolutely anything in Bangkok. And the reason why we're here is we're gonna get some face masks. We got 1,000 face masks. And I'll give you a price later on how much they cost. So we're into the taxi now, we're off to the next destination. We're on the way to buy some water, or ishka as we say in Ireland. So then what we did was we divided the masks up, 10 in a bag, so each person gets 10 face masks. And then the next day we picked up our food. We got a hundred boxes of food and I'll give you the price on that later on as well. And believe it or not folks, we got the food from Soy Cowboy. The bars on Soy Cowboy are now cooking food. So we spoke to a guy on the corner of Soy Cowboy, Crazy House is the name of the place and he was able to organize the food for us. So we got the food and we have the water and we have the masks. And then let me just show you this, right? This is a uh, help cars. These are rental cars. You can pick these up all over Bangkok. We got a little Mazda 2. We paid a thousand baht. I think it was actually 1100 baht for the day. And it's great. And off we go, off towards our destination. We're heading towards Democracy Monument, the Khao San Road area, because that's where we heard that people need help the most. So here's Noon, Noon's friend Mai, and then we have Dave, and we're all here helping out, giving out the food. And we're just giving our, we're just helping out folks, we're doing our little bit, you know, as I said, like, you know, Thailand, it's been a great country for me, living here for 10 years, it's given me a lot, and um, if I can help people in need, then I will. So, this whole queue is so long folks, there are literally more and more people coming, our, our 100 boxes of food is not going to be enough, you know? The good thing is that as I'm speaking, there are more more people pulling up beside me and um, helping out as well. Other Thai people helping out, which is great to see. Uh, it really is such a sad sight, you know. And um, it gets me gets me very very down. Good man, thank you very much. Hello, good morning. Thai people, they still smiling, still smiling, still friendly, and. Um, you know, it's, I don't know, I'm kind of speechless, I don't really know what to say about it all. Uh, it's just, you know, in the grand, grand scheme of things. Yeah. What do you have? Yeah. <laughs> Ireland. Ireland. Oh, what do you do? See? Still friendly, still resilient. Keep on smiling, Thai people. We'll get through this, you know. We'll get through this. And i just like to say as well, these people are very, very appreciative. Are you just keep everyone saying thank you? Everybody's just delighted to get some food, you know. And what we're doing is we're giving them some, you know, rice and some protein, some uh, chicken and, and and pork. And I mean, I thought we'd be here for a while. It looks like we're going to be everything's going to be done in five, ten minutes, you know. So many people uh, in need. I've just I, I don't really know what to say. I'm speechless, really. 
uh, just hope the video the video shows gives it justice and if you ever if anyone out there is in Bangkok and they want to do something like this it's very simple you know come to this area Rambutri Kausan area there's a there's a, a table already set up there are gover gover uh, government officers already here it's an easy process pull up with your car fill, fill a tuk tuk up with food a couple of thousand baht you can feed like you know uh, 10 euro 400 baht you could feed 10 people do you know what I mean 10 people that's that's two beers in a pub you know you go down to the pub and you spend 10 euro you could feed 10 people for that 10 people that need it so I urge anyone out, out, else that's out in Bangkok to to come and do this you know let's all help out it's a, it's only I'm in a very lucky position and noon is as well that we we had be, we have been working the whole time you know I've never been affected financially from this so I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful and I'm very lucky and that's why I'm giving back here and that's why noon is giving back as well um, so that's why I urge anyone anyone that wants to do this you just get in your car or you get in a tuk-tuk and you come out here with some food and God God knows you're gonna be helping people they're unemployed, they, don't, they cannot do their job for two years, struggling for two years now and then just waiting for like our own people to help each other, you know. And they then and all of them help each other, like if one of them get more water, they share to another one. Like they share, like they share each other. It's very good. Like, so now it's, it means like only between Thai, only between locals help each other. And that's 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 how we see things now. So Noon, what what's your opinion on everything that Scott you've seen today? I've seen kind a lot of kind people. I've seen lots of people that are struggling, real struggle that they they don't have jobs, they cannot find any job at the moment. Many of them doesn't don't have homes and they they came they, they, they come here like far away from their home to get food and not only for them like it's kind of like their own house representative to come here and collect as much as possible and how about other people in uh, bangkok can they come here and help do like the same as what we did they can come here like because officers here um our enforcement officers you see wearing the uniform they 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 here to organize you help you organizing giving food drinks and masks and whatever you want to give whatever you want to offer like it's very good here very good management here they said that on the weekends there are more people coming to give food more than weekdays so if you could come on weekdays that would be great because weekends you know people would have more time and like, you know, so let me take you over to the Khao San Rambutri area now and show you what it looks like because that has also been completely devastated and a lot of people around here in this area that was the, how they made their livelihood by selling trinkets and working in the markets around the Khao San and Rambutri road so let's go over and take a look so the first video we ever uploaded was in July 2020 and it was in Khao San road and here we are in August 2021 over a year since we've been on YouTube and here we are again on Kaosan and it's been the very same if you go back and watch that video and you watch this video everything is shut down so anyone that's been working around here bar a couple of months when everything was open you know Kaosan Road it, you know shut down and then, then we had the restrictions lifted so then Kaosan Road opened up again and it did okay business for a couple of months then it shut down again it's been shut like this for months now and you know it's just a it's just a world we're living in at the moment you know it's just terrible I keep saying terrible overusing that word in this vlog but that's the only way I can describe it and this whole experience on YouTube the last 13 months it's been it's been good it's been such a learning such a good learning curve and um, even though vlogging in I suppose these times a lot of the stuff can be negative I always try to focus on the positive side and I know this video is 
not exactly positive, but I hope it's informative. And maybe it will motivate someone out there to go and donate food in Bangkok. And if it does that, then this video has been successful. Okay folks, let me break down the cost of everything today. So we paid 5,000 baht for 100 boxes of food. We paid 1,000 baht for masks. We paid 400 baht for water. And we paid 1,000 baht for the car rental. So the total cost was 7,500 baht, which is a small amount of money, but for, for all the help it can do. We fed 100 people and we gave them water. We gave them masks. You know, we're planning to do this again. I'm not sure if I'm going to film it because we're going to the same location again. But, you know, I'm just going to leave a Google map link in the description so you know where this place is if you want to go there. I urge anyone in Bangkok, do your little bit. Now is the time, you know. It's easy for us expats and Westerners over here, you know, making money. We can afford to give people, you know, it's 40 baht for a, for a meal. 40, 50 baht. It's nothing. But it's a meal for somebody. So, you know, that, that's a euro. You know, 40 baht, it's a euro or a pound or whatever. You know, it's a small amount of money. Now's your time. Do your part. I urge you to do your part. Go help some people. And um, I'm sorry, I apologise if I'm coming, a, if I'm a bit too strong here. But, you know, after being there and filming it, I feel strongly about it. So, um, thank you very much for watching. It was a little bit depressing. But, I, I you know, I hope the video does it justice. And um, I'll see you on the next one. Please subscribe, share and like. And uh, up the dubs.